Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. A pleasure to be here with you again. So this is our second week. Very nice. Time flies. Okay, as usual, we're gonna check about the platform. So this is it. And uh, for tonight, we don't have a specific homework. Okay, so just the class that we're gonna do. And we're gonna check about the attendance. Okay, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Charvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert T. Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Present. Good. Good evening. Ro Roxana, good evening. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, very good. So I hope you had a very nice weekend. So vacations is coming, so that is good. Uh, last Friday, we were checking about the words. I guess everybody were able to do it, uh, but we didn't have the time to finish about the idea that you want to pitch. So tonight we're going to continue with that one and then we're going to start with the other part of the class. So um, I know that just a few did it last uh, Friday. Question is, who wants to uh, start tonight? Anybody that hasn't done it last Friday, of course. I will teach you. Perfect. Let's listen then to Jose Wilfredo. Well, um, I have two ideas, but one of the uh, one of idea, I guess that is the the most expensive than the other one so it's about make a uh, a one re research um to carry out the the project and is to know in which central location parking spaces are needed and then you need oh, well uh, i i can that we have to make some research uh to found that to find that that uh places and then buy the land or or a house where we need to build uh we need to where we need to build the building uh and also uh maybe it does generate a lot of profits but it's one idea where you have to have a, a good amount of money to invest. That sounds like a very good idea, actually. Very nice. I mean, yeah, you are right. In lots of places nowadays, we don't have enough parking. So uh, sometimes, I mean, even the police or uh, the government, they don't allow to park yeah. in certain streets, right? So definitely that, I believe, is a very good idea. Nice. Anybody has a question for Jose Wilfredo's idea? No questions. Okay, I guess it's kind of kind of good. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, regular pricing on that one. Even at night, I mean, depending on the situation, you can 
give everybody or some people to leave the car there overnight and that is an extra money right so yeah it's a very good way to, for you to make money maybe you say what you say is, is correct right i mean you need kind of not a lot of money but some kind of money uh, because i mean some builders sometimes are kind of expensive right um and uh you need something that is kind of big right so because yeah. that would be it and maybe with time you will be able to to build something that is um better accommodate for that so that sounds like a very good thing yep that's Perfect. my eight. thank you so yeah i hope someday it's possible something like that <laughs> all right my friends um who wants to be the next one maybe me teacher okay please go ahead okay can i share the screen definitely okay thanks okay i don't know but i think you're watching my screen yeah yeah okay what's my my idea it's related with uh kind of marketplace yeah but uh, this marketplace uh, the the idea is that um like you were yeah you can uh verify uh, the people who is buying or selling on the platform yeah and what is um the important thing about this kind of marketplace that obviously you can uh, buy and sell, but you can manage your own articles or goods or services that you can uh, trade trade there. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, you can uh, sell some kind of, of uh, things, uh, do, do it yourself supplies, maybe uh, <clears throat> things for things or goods from uh, creative people, yeah, goods, obviously, and any kind of uh, product that you, you can imagine, yeah, but uh, you can ask uh, okay what is the um what is the situation here and uh, okay there is a marketplace like a a place where where you can uh, trade your goods and services but the main objective in this kind of of platform is that you can build a community yeah not only for a trade not only for sell and or buy uh, but also for, uh, for example, for uh, networking interchanges, yeah? Uh, okay, I have an idea uh, and you can maybe post the idea and other people can, uh, can tell you if they support your idea, how could you uh, make to raise your idea, and obviously you can all uh, you can also uh, implement some situations like uh, okay i have many products but i don't know how to take the photographs or i don't know or maybe i don't uh, have the right equipment to take my photos or the product photos so uh, the main objective is the community, yeah, and also is surrounded by this this platform and by the users, yeah, uh, and uh, you can sell over here uh, because the platform has the um, has the support maybe or or has the platform to do these kind of situations yeah you could uh, for example you could uh, um how this um 
you could um, associate your PayPal uh, account and all the pays are directed to you by the platform, yeah. And do whatever you want in this platform, obviously, if it is legal, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, for example, if you can uh, manage your own articles, yeah. For example, if you have some things like paintings or drawings, uh, some goods, services, yeah. For example, uh, there is there are some 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 uh, kind of examples in in the uh, in the screen and um, also a blog. Uh, uh, this blog is or could be um, used for uh, make a little uh, comment about yourself and about your your goals or products or services and what can you do in order to uh, to improve or to uh, to help to the environment or something uh, that you can imagine yeah uh, and obviously the community can answer to you can uh, in the products they can rate your products they can, uh, for example, just let me check. They can, um, they can mark your products as uh, favorite products or maybe your waste list or something like this. Yeah, uh, that's my idea. I don't know if if uh, you have any questions. I. I think that uh, the, you have a win-win situation for both uh, people, sellers, customers, and obviously uh, to the people who is in the background on the platform. Yeah, those. Uh, this is my idea. Perfect. Thank you, Juan Miguel. So anybody has a question for Juan Miguel and his idea? Básicamente es, es eh, la idea de un mercado donde se conectarían clientes, eh, financistas y... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> like I said, you are in our market. Like, you, you're talking. <laughs> okay, what is happening? What is happening? I need to switch, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, David. Yeah, but you have... It was so interesting... Have... It was so interesting the idea. <laughs> but you, you, you got the idea because you can, uh, with the community, you can inter interchange uh, many ideas, many financial support. Uh, for example, if if I have something uh, that could help you, obviously uh, in the network networking uh, place or situations. Uh, I can find you and tell you, hey, David, I have something that could help you. And for example, Dave, uh, you, David, can or could have something that I help you. For example, you are an accountant, yeah? But I don't know anything about accounting. So we can switch or we can interchange uh, some, th this kind of situations, yeah, in order to, uh, get better or or improve the the business and uh, go uh, beyond and uh, to the clients. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. And uh, do you have a, a question, David, or anything? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, I uh, I don't know if you have a question about that. No, 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 that's okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Anybody else has a question? Okay, so as I understand, it's going to be like a community, so anybody can join, right? Yeah, but uh, 
uh, you have to, or you must be verified before uh, any action that you can do in the platform, like Uber, for example, that you have to, uh, to give your papers in order to prove that you are uh, Eric, yeah? And, and not, uh, for example, Jose instead of Eric, yeah? Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, I have another question. Um, are you going to charge like a percentage? I mean, because this is a business, right? So I believe that yeah. you're going to get something there. Uh, it could be, or it could, uh, yeah, it could be charged by a percentage uh, for the transaction, or uh, you can, uh, for example, charge a little commission uh, for every a person that uh, could join the platform. Like you were, for example, they, uh, yeah. they, they, uh, over our teacher. They charge you. Uh -huh, they charge you a, a, a little fee uh, when you ask for a new Uber in order to improve the platform, yeah? or a charge a, for use for using the platform yeah it could be in the in any way that you can that you can do okay very well perfect so yeah sounds like a very interesting idea very nice uh, thank you very much Juan Miguel okay okay who uh, wants to be the next one I guess there are a few that uh, didn't present last Friday so who wants to be the next one? Nobody else has, has um, the idea. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I, I, I can't hear it very well. I don't know what is happening. Okay. Uh, I will change my, my, my earphones. Okay. I don't... Yeah, don't worry. Go ahead. Okay, so then we're going to start with the class. Uh, tonight, we're going to start checking about a business plan. Um, so... Uh, these two weeks, we will be speaking about what is a business plan, okay? And we have, like, the introduction tonight. So, uh, let's see. Um, Dora, Elizabeth, could you please help me reading this paragraph? A business plan is a document that outlines the business objectives, goals, and objectives and how it plans to choose its course. A business plan, plan lays out a written roadmap for the firm from marketing, financial, and operation standpoint. Both startups and stable companies use business plan. A business plan is an important document I meant at a company's external and internal audience. For instance, the business plan is used to attract investment before a company has established proven track record. It can also help to secure lighting from financial institutions. All right, what did you understand on this one? Uh, the business plan it's important for a uh, for how if you if I have a, a a investment in my business, it is el, the business the business plan uh, help uh, find a. Uh, Business and tell uh, 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 a guide 
it's like a guide for a step when you write a step for the different process for uh, start the business in different areas, marketing, financial, and other areas. Okay, very good. So yeah, this is a very interesting thing. Uh, I believe that you already know a little bit about business plan. So what is a business plan? It's a document, something that we write, that we design, okay? And that defines in detail. This is a very important part, in detail. So we are going to be very specific here. A company's objectives, okay? So here, at this point, supposedly, when whenever we create a business plan, we know what kind of company we're going to run and where we're going to go, right? And how it plans to achieve its goal. So not only the objective, but how we're going to be able to achieve those goals that we want to. And uh, this uh, like a roadmap says for the firm from marketing, financial and operational standpoint. So everything is included in a business plan. And it's possible for us to do that one in startups of new companies or established company. Actually, most of the companies, they create a business plan every year. Sometimes they modify some things depending on the reality of the company or the economy, right? Uh, it's important because and uh, it's for the usage of external and internal audiences. So it can be in both ways. And uh, it's very common to present a business plan when you want to attract investment. Uh, at any point, actually, not only when the company is a new one or uh, wants to grow, but at any time you can show this so uh, other people would like to invest. They are sure that you know what you're doing. So that will be it. So this is going to be the topic for the next two weeks. Let's continue reading. Uh, let's see. Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Yes. Please help me reading this one. Okay. All the paragraphs. Yeah, please. Uh, furthermore, a business plan can serve to keep a company's executive team on the same page about a strategic action items and on target for meeting established goals. Although they are especially useful for new businesses, every company should have a business plan. Ideally, the plan is reviewed and updated periodically to reflect goals that have been met or have changed. Sometimes a new business plan is created for an established business that has decided to move in a new direction. Okay, what did you get from this one? Uh, uh, I read uh, that we have maybe the two point of view of a business a business a plan. Uh, one maybe a company that is is established and maybe is they have a lot of uh, resources and they uh, establish a, a business plan. They maybe uh, uh, can be successful or or not, but the, the, that now maybe not affects a lot of that company, but uh, uh, every company ha, uh, should have a business plan because uh, maybe it's a, it's a serial or maybe actions or steps that, uh, how do you say, direction or? Direction. Direction the, the company to uh, maybe a, just a success or or the other or the other in the other hand maybe a, a bad a bad maybe a result but it's very very important to to review the, the business plan uh, with the team uh, planning planning all the steps that they have to do for uh, reach all the goals of the company and that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, you are right. I mean, uh, it says, furthermore, a business plan can serve to keep companies' executive team 
on the same page about strategic, uh, to take action. So this is very important because yes, a business plan uh, in most of the companies, every department is going to build their own part of the presentation, their own part of the document, but everything has to be connected, right? Everything has to be aimed to the same objective for the same goals. So that's why this is kind of interesting because, I mean, if you are the head of human resources, for example, they tell you, you are going to do the part of human resources, but everything is connected and has to be uh, with that target, right? That is uh, the objectives of the whole company, okay? And uh, yes, as you say, as you mentioned, uh, this is something that has to be for every company and something that has to be reviewed and updated. As we know, we live in a dynamic world and uh, we need to adapt ourselves into that world that is changing, right? Good. Let's continue. So these are the key takeaways that we're going to check in the these two weeks that we're going to be reading about that one. So um, let's see. Um, uh, Roxana, could you please help me with this? So, <clears throat> key takeaways. A business plan is a document describing a company, a company's core business activity and how it plans to achieve its goals. Startup companies use business plans to get up the ground and attract outside investors. A business plan can, can also use, can, I'm sorry, a business plan can also be used as an internal guide to keep an executive team focused on, focus on and work the work short and long term activities. Business businesses may create a lengthier, lengthier, huh? lengthier traditional business plan or a shorter length start business plan. Good business good business plan should include an executive summary and section on product and service, marketing strategy and analysis, financial planning and a budget. Hey, what did you get from this one? Uh, when you uh, are planning to start a business, it's important to have the clear idea about what uh, what are you your achieves? What are yeah? What are your achieves? And what do you what do you do for this? For example, uh, if you if you have enough um, money, uh, do if you have enough um, employees to to do the, the product or the service. Uh, in general, a uh, business plan is important because it is the first step to start your, your business. Because if you don't have the idea about what do you do or what do you want or what do you have, you don't do anything. You have to uh, be clear about uh, your resources and how you can um, administrate that resources. But at the, at, uh, uh, the first time you need to uh, have a uh, planning. You need to create the idea and develop a planning about uh, your needs and how you can apply all your resources. Okay, very good. So yes, there are many things that are included into the business plan, things that are important, right? The first thing is that one, right? It's, the core business activities. So it's going to reflect everything that is important on what you want to achieve, as you say, and what you're going to do for you to make this happen. Also, um, for startup companies, it's like a way for them to get investments, right? So that is for sure. Uh, it's also be used as an internal guide. Uh, so as we say, have everything, everybody that takes decisions or manage department 
uh, go in the same direction. And uh, some businesses may create a lighter uh, or lengthier traditional business plan, meaning a longer one. Sometimes it's not just a quarter or a year, but five years in advance. So that might be happening. And uh, of course, it should include an executive summary and sections of products and services, marketing strategy, the different parts of the company is going to be reflected here. So, and how that part of the company is going to help in achieving everything there. Nice. So let's continue. So what is a business plan then? Uh, Jose Osmin, could you please help me read this one? No, possible. Uh, Jose Marcos. Okay. Um, business plan. Um, business plan is fundamental. It's a fundamental document that any new business should have in place prior to beginning operation. Indeed, banks and venture capital firms often require a viable business plan before considering where they provide capital to a new business. Operating without a business plan usually is not ideal. In fact, very few companies are able to last very long without one. There are benefits to creating and sticking to a good business plan. This includes being able to think through ideas before investing too much money in them, and working through potential obstacles to success. Okay, what did you get from this? I understand that uh, to run a business, an uh, um, important part of this process is before uh, I start with the business, it's important to have a, a business plan because um, the business plan help us to it's like a guide to 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 follow. So if we have some doubts or if we don't see the benefits of the business, maybe the business plan can answer all the questions that we have. Um, or um, uh, in the business plan we can find the option if something is not working good. So it's important to have a business plan because um, before um, I spend a lot of money, we have to have clear the idea of the business plan, how all will be working and how we can get through to the obstacles in, in our way to success or to progress. Our business plan is the, I think it's the, it's the first step in the to run a business. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So yes, I mean, uh, I believe here is very clear when we need to do that one. So, at the beginning of the company, definitely, and this is going to be this is going to be actually the tool that we are going to use uh, to get investment. I mean, if you go to a bank, for example, they are going to ask for uh, their business plan. If you don't have a business plan or the business plan is not created or designed in a very good way, most likely you are not going to get the money, right? So this is a very important part. But anyway, um, not only for new companies is this a good thing. It's also for every company. So thinking about that one, how often do you believe that we have to create a business plan? What do you think, people? There are some companies like uh, Coca-Cola, that's a big company that have a, a special equipment working on that every every day, all of the year, uh, working on branding, working on, on the evaluation of the product, working on uh, the public opinion and, and uh, doing a rescheduling in the business plan and this is important, very important because there are a, a, a 
because of the public perception is a it is for the for the company the public perception is give the company the possibility to grow or the possibility to to decay okay definitely so yeah your answer is actually correct i mean depending on the company right there are companies that they do this well they most likely it's going to be in a yearly basis, but they check this every, at least every quarter, right? Every quarter they are checking where are we going, um, if we need to change things. Sometimes things change, I mean, in the economy, in a country, in politics, that is going to affect my business. So they need to adapt that one. So depending on the size of the company, it's going to be like that. Good. This this time of, of crisis was a, a very big uh, proof for all of the company. The company needs to reinvent, to to re, re, replant uh, his his uh, ideas and a lot of that they, they are doing. That is so true. I mean, uh, this is a very good example, the one that you brought, because yeah, we are in a global crisis, right? In companies, sometimes they have to do things that they don't want. So, for example, right now. A lot of companies, they are firing people. So uh, it's a big impact for them and it's a big impact for people, but sometimes you need to do what you need to do, right? Because if you don't do that, uh, well, the whole company might die. So yeah, it's, it's difficult. And it's happening in all the companies. Uh, the crisis is very, very big right now. And it seems, according to some economists, that is going to be this and the next year very hard. So let's see how it goes. Right. Good. Uh, let's check the next one. This is going to be for Luis Albert Steve. Can you please help me with reading this? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, <clears throat> a good business plan should outline all the project costs and possible with pulse of each decision a company makes. Business plans even among competi competitors in Computer. the same industry, competitors in the same industry are rarely identical. However, they can have the same basic elements, such as an executive summary of the business and detailed description of its operations, products and services, and financial projections. And, okay, a plan also states how the business intends to achieve its goals. Okay, what did you understand on this? Okay, I understand that it is necessary a good business plan in order to project what do you want uh, what do you? Uh, what is your goals? In order to take uh, maybe not a good decision. Yes, a good decision, but is certainly decisions. Uh, because it is necessary if you make um, a new product, a new company, a new line of products is necessary to have a, 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 a business plan um, because it is, is in the market is very um, difficult, very difficult. And we, if you have competitions, maybe uh, the same products, maybe a little di difference between one and one. Um, is necessary in detailed description. Uh huh. Did uh, okay. Operation, products, and service. This that says, and also things. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh business plans. Uh, um, also is necessary to put in order your ideas. Your ideas. Uh, your product, which is your uh, your market, your uh, your budget, 
your budget and, and your and your definite and your goals and in a short period of the time in a long period of the time okay very good perfect so that is it i mean yes maybe one of the most important part are the cost uh, uh, financial projections uh, but it's going to include everything right the descriptions or the operations products and services uh, and of course what you want to achieve and you are very right so it has to include and not only the long term but also the short term it's very important because and that way you know what you have to do in the long term and also in the short term good yes. how to write a business plan okay it's going to be for let's see Uh, Ana Claudia. Okay. Uh, wait. How to write a business plan? A well considered and well written business plan can be a, of enormous value to a company. Why there are templates that you can use to write a business plan, try to avoid producing a generic result. The plan should include an overview and if possible details of the industry of which the business will be a part it should explain how the business will distinguish itself from its competitors good what do you get from this one mm, uh, that will be like a review of what we want to develop with the whole thing right it must show or give directions of the result we want to achieve that is what i think but the most important here is not to just uh, grab a template and do it the same it would be good to be creative and make our own business plan uh, based in our idea because not all of us we have the same uh, time frame maybe or the same way to follow up steps maybe another way can new way can resolve I, I think that okay yeah definitely so yeah there are a lot of templates i believe that that is one of the things that we think when the, uh, you need to create a business plan i mean if it's the first time and somebody and mind your boss says hey you are going to be in charge of the business plan this what? year Oh my goodness, what do I do, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I guess the first thing that we do is to go and look for templates. Maybe yes. a good idea is to download or to check three, five kinds of templates so we understand uh, what... And is... make a resume, yeah. a new version, you say. Exactly. From that one, you can take parts, uh, different parts from all the templates and create your own, right? That is oh, going that's to be... a good idea, too. That's right. Yeah, to, to create your own uh, template so you can continue using that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, if something is missing in the template, you can add things there, right? So That's right. Definitely, it's a very important thing, but that is the way. So, but it's not a good idea just to download a template and just put the things there. Follow right? that idea because maybe the one who created that one uh, maybe was in a different country, different resources. I don't know. That is correct. That is correct. So uh, this is a very good idea. So that would be the very first step, right? I mean, of course, at this point, uh, we need to know several things about the company so we can put that together. But then we need to go and look for the way that is going to be built up, right? Right. Good. Next one says, start with the essential structure. So this is going to be for William Alexander. Okay, uh, start with the essential structure. An executive summary, company description, market analy analysis, product or service description, marketing strategy, financial projections, and appendix, which include documents and data that support the main sections. The sections or elements of a business plan are outlined below. Okay, what did you get on this one?
Okay. Uh, it said uh, uh, an executive su executive summary. Okay. Um, it includes uh, uh, talking about the general or or the about the all of the departments that the company has and talking about the product or service description, the marketing strategy, financial, <clears throat> and yeah, I think that is the, the essential structure. Very good, so that is it. I mean, this is like the essential structure, the most basic, so um, maybe can have more other parts depending on the company depending on how many departments uh, all the things that are involved uh, but at, at least these are the parts that the business plan has to have right an executive summary that would be at the very beginning about company and many other things the company description what do we do right uh, there of course is going to include uh, relevant things like objectives the vision and the mission of the company uh, how was born in a very wrap up way, right? Market um, analysis of definitely product or service description. What are the things that we are selling? Uh, that I mean, that has to be all the list of products. I mean, you cannot just say like an example, but the whole thing. The marketing strategy, for example, the financial projections. Uh, in matter of projection, you can add many other things. But financial is the most important one right? because you say what you want to achieve, how many uh, products, for example, you're going to sell so you can achieve that one and how it's going to be the production, set it up, things like that. And an appendix, of course, that include uh, things that are going to be related to the main sections. Uh, so that will be, that is like the most basic. We're going to go and check uh, the sections that are here. Of course, as I was telling you, it can have more right so that would be a way so let's continue this one is going to be for let's see francisco eduardo not possible for francisco let's see then for fernando marvin Hello, teacher. Teacher, ah francisco very good oh. go ahead francisco who was it Teacher, uh, I'm here, but I, I in my in my work, and in this moment I, I a, a little busy, teacher. Ah, okay, don't worry, not a problem. So, uh, Fernando Marvin is gonna help us then. Thank you. Sure, teacher. Um, when you write your business plan, you don't have to strictly follow a particular business plan outline or the template. Use only those sections that made the most sense for your particular business and it needs. Traditional business plan use some combination of the sections below. Your plan might also include any funding requests you are making. Regardless, try to keep the main body of your plan to around uh, 15 and 25 page. Okay, what do you get from this one? Uh, I understand that a business plan is um uh, existing template that you can use, but no all the template maybe can apply to your to your plan in particular because your your activity the activity of your company it can be different to to other companies so uh, you can adapt. And this this template that explain in the next pages and use the the parts of the or the section that you need. So that is it. Very good. Uh, yes, I mean you will have as we said before, we will not have to follow a, a template. So we can take some parts if it's the first time, look and compare some templates, but then we need to personalize that one depending on the company. And um, it shouldn't be that long, but also can be that short. I mean, of course, if the company is a small company, 
probably it's going to be five, seven pages. That that would be good. I mean, you cannot just invent because you need to extend. And you are going to have the most important parts there, uh, like uh, the essentials, right? The core. Uh, and uh, if it's a large company, definitely you have to uh, leave some things outside, sometimes in the appendix, sometimes in different documents. Yeah, they can find all people, they can find different processes and procedures. So to fundament what they're talking about here. Good. So elements, this one, we're going to check here. Juan Miguel, could you please help me this one? Not possible for Juan Miguel. Let's see then. Who oh, has some red? What's up, Wilfredo? Okay. Elements on a business plan. The land of the business plan varies greatly from business uh, to business, considering fighting the basic information into the 15 to 25 pages. Um, 25 pages. Uh, page document, then other crucial elements that take up a lot of space, such as application for patents, uh, can be referenced in the main document and include as appendices. As mentioned above, no two business plan are the same unless uh, they then they tend to have the same elements below are some of the commune and key part of the business plan. Okay, what do you get on this? Okay, maybe you need to be prepared for some changes that could happen uh, in the in the um, when you release the plan or when you release uh, your your business. But uh, you have to have uh, some uh, fun fundamentals. To achieve what do you need or what do you expect to have? Yeah, this is linked to the ones that we were discussing before, right? So depending on what you are going to present, sometimes depending on the company, you need to in include, in this case, for example, speaking about patents. Yeah, we need to include that one because for banks, sometimes it's important this information or you need to include um, where did you get the, the funds for the company? So sometimes you need to uh, uh, present like a form from a bank where you get a loan and things like that one. So there are many things that sometimes are going to be necessary, but it cannot be in the in the core. It's, it's possible to have it in a separate document, right? Yep. Good. Let's move on. Executive summary. This section outlines the company and includes the mission statement along with any information about the company's leadership, employees, operations, and location. So that is the first section. The executive summary uh, is the one that provides information about uh, the mission staying along. So with information with the company's leadership, who are the leaders, the owner, when was this created, uh, what is the mission, the vision, objective, in general, speaking about operations, locations, uh, things like that are going to be in the executive summary. So that's why this is the first part, because it's going to present like an, an overview of everything. The most important, of course, is going to be mission, vision, and things like that one. Products and services is the next one. Let's see who wants to read this one. Uh, David. Okay, products and service. Here, the company can underline the products and service it will offer. It may also include pricing, product lifespan, 
and benefits to the consumer. Other factors that may go into this section include production and manufacturing processes, any patents the company may have, as well as proprietary technology, information about research and development can also be included here. Good, what do you get from this part? Okay, I think this is the one of the most important part of the business plan because if we don't have a product or a service, we don't have nothing. Yeah. And uh, this is the thing that we need to uh, put in the uh, major attention to define, define clearly what are we offering. And uh, when I, uh, I am working in my project, it, it is one of my problems because I see I, I, I cannot back it to the people. I can put something new in her mind. But uh, what is the specific? The service. And that is important. That's something that I was thinking for about one or two years. And it is important because if you don't have defined that, you don't have enough. This is the, the first thing you need to think, you need to think clearly. This needs to be so clear that you can make a difference with the, the other that uh, have uh, the same. If, for example, if you see a, a burger, a burger is not the same burger that McDonald's or Wendy's or, or King. Uh, I, I remember when the the when this was put a, a store, a world store in, in I think in the near uh, Metro Centro, something like that. And already was a, a McDonald's and already was a, a Burger King. And uh, they say, for guys, forgive us the clown and forgive us the clown, but the real burger arrived here. This was the the marketing out for, for, for Wendy's was uh, fantastic, <laughs> important. Uh, the product or services, the first system, uh, how do you do your product or service, manufacturing, and what uh, what uh, are the belongings to the product? Is, uh, you are selling books, or you are selling this, or you are selling music, you need the patents, you need the rights of the technology. In the, in the case you are selling an app, something like that, you need all of that information. Very good, you are very right. This is one of the most important sections in the um, in the business plan because it has to represent in a very good way uh, the benefits of the product, right? how this is different from my competitors, how it's going to solve many problems, how it's beautiful and things like that one. And also if you are presenting a business plan, I mean, this is very important. You have to believe in your product. If you don't believe in the products or services you are about to sell, because this is a selling thing, you're screwed, right? I mean, everything may be very good, but many people, they say, I don't know, maybe this is not a good idea, right? So, uh, what you are going to express in this part yeah. is fundamental. Fundamental for... Uh, the objective of the presentation of the business plan. So definitely, it's a very good thing. And also, it's not only about the products. Also, in mind that you can present information about research and development. I mean, we have this right now, but we're going to continue improving. This is what we want to achieve. If we continue working like this, or if you give me the loan, if you give me the funds, I will be able to achieve this. So that is something very, very important. Like the heart. Good, perfect. A uh, market analysis. So this is going to be for Giselle. Okay, teacher. Market analysis. A firm needs a good handle on its industry as well as its mark as its target market. This section of the plan will detail a company's competition and how the company fits in the industry along with its relative strengths and weaknesses. It will also describe the expected consumer demand for a company's products or services and how easy or difficult it may, may be to grab market share from in, incumbents. 
Okay, what did you get from this one? Mm, I think that in this part is when you realize the how you can can enter uh, in the industry because maybe uh, yeah you can analyze your com your competitors but uh, including that part or or when you have that information you can you can you can add like the value that you have so in this part of the market analysis you can like i forgot the word um <laughs> um you can identify uh, the strengths and weaknesses that you have that you can have and the strengths and weaknesses of your competitors too so when you have that information what can you do with that so you it's not enough just to know about your competitors your competitors is what you what you are going to do with that information and to be more and to be yeah to be like different to the rest similar but not the same okay very good perfect so that is so true i mean um yes this is like in general the market so it's not my marketing strategy but the market where my product belongs right so definitely you are going to describe a little bit about the industry your country how everything is managed sometimes it's important to include uh, things like law i mean sometimes there are some parameters things that you can do or cannot do many things like that one and of course about your product i mean uh, what is the difference between you and the rest of the products that are similar maybe sometimes are complementary or substitutory uh, products and uh, definitely the strengths and weaknesses speaking of weaknesses do you believe everybody do you believe that it's good to present weaknesses when you have this like business plan what do you think of course because uh, your uh, competitors will analyze analyze you and if you don't know you, if you don't know what are you need to improve, uh, maybe you can get frustrated because you can uh, do the thing like you expect. And it is important to know in every in every aspect. It's important to know what are weaknesses. What are the things we need to, to conquer? What are the things we need to improve or, or grow out in that field, in that art? Definitely. So, yes, it's a good idea. Maybe depending on who you are going to present, you are not going to remark that a lot. Sometimes you just mention something like that. But, for example, if you are speaking with a bank and the bank says, oh, but that weakness is not good, you can say, for example, oh, but that's what I need the money. If you give me the money, I'm going to work on this one and improve my product so it doesn't have these weaknesses anymore. So, yeah, it's uh, even good for you to, to present that one as an strategy. So, it's a, it's a good thing. And it's um, important because, yeah, sometimes happens that you present a business plan, but the other companies or the bank or anybody that you are going to present this to uh, they sometimes also also research about you right so they know they know some weaknesses that you might have so you need to be ready for questions that they might have regarding this one so you can answer in a very good way um i have a question for you the last word here what is incumbent That things that you don't plan, but sometimes happen. Mm, it's very similar in Spanish to that one, but it's not that actually. Okay. So this one has. Is uh -huh. company part part from something that that is, uh, uh, for example, you are a teacher uh, that is it comes to to give grades and to do tests and. The, the, the other thing that are part of what you do or the product or, or the marketplace or something like that. Something like that. Very good. Perfect. 
let's run. So this is now the marketing strategy. Uh, let's see, Dora, could you please help me reading this one? Marketing strategy. This section describes how the company will attract and keep its customer base and how it intends to reach the consumer. A clear distribution channel must be outlined. The section also spell out advertising or and marketing campaigns, plans, and the type of media those campaigns will use. Okay, what did you understand here? It's about the plan for marketing and describe the step uh, or parts of the, the strategy in this paragraph. Very good. So that is it. I mean, uh, yeah, this is definitely about marketing, right? No market, but marketing. So strategies, the way that you are going to present the product to the market, to the competitors. Most likely here you are going to have um, an advertisement already. Maybe a video is a good idea, but if you don't have anything like that, because, I mean, it's a startup company, at least a scheme of an advertisement and uh, distribution channel, uh, things that, one that are going to be included in this part are going to be very important. Uh, of course, here, uh, the company or the the one that is presenting this to, um, they might have questions. About, I mean, they can have questions about everything, but the product, the financial part, marketing strategy are things that they may ask a lot of things about. So do we need to be ready about that. Good, let's go to the next. Financial planning, Roxana. I'm sorry, financial planning. In this section, showing to a company, a company's financial planning and credit, financial statement, balance sheet, and other financial information may be included for establishing businesses. New businesses will include targets and estimates for the first few years plus a description of potential investors. Okay, what do you get in this one? Uh, it's important in a business plan uh, have a projection about your uh, your cash. What do you have and what do you think that you receive in the next five years, for example. And the other hand, it's important to uh, include um, option to get a bank financial. Yeah, so yeah. because, uh, you know, maybe uh, some uh, person have enough um, knowledge and enough money to get uh, or to establish a, a, a new company, but uh, the most of the person needs to have a bank financial. And uh, that's why it's important to create a business plan to present uh, to the bank and sell the project. Because if you can sell your project, you can get a financial, uh, a bank financial. And you can do your, 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 you can develop your idea. So it's important not only uh, have the project for the present, it's important uh, have the, or create a business plan for uh, maybe the next five or 10 years to uh, maybe to, 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 to get the enough knowledge about um, market, about your brand, or how do you, how you can uh, develop your, your brand, your product, your service. But it's important uh, that point because uh, you need to financial your idea. Okay, very good. Yeah, well, this is one of the most important things, right? Definitely, because the objective of a company is to get money. So, a financial statement, it should be here. 
uh, balance sheets, other in financial information, sometimes some rates, right? Like ROI or any other thing that you want to include, uh, depending on who you are going to present, of course. Uh, and here it says new business, but I believe that that is for all the companies. Uh, you should include targets and estimates for the first, I can say five years. Five years is good enough. So in five years, we're going to be like this if everything goes well about our projections. So uh, this is very, very important. And here, of course, there will be a lot of questions on the audience, um, depending on what you're looking to get. But uh, this is, it has to be very clear, very clear on where you are standing and where you want to go. Good. A budget, Fernando Marvin. Uh, budget. Every company needs to have a budget in place. This section should include costs related to staffing, development, manufacturing, marketing, and any other expense related to the business. Hey, uh, what do you get on this? Uh, basically, this section describes uh, the money the company has and how these resources cover all aspects related with the with the business yeah definitely i mean if you know the cost if you know where you want to go if you have your financial statements of course you need to have a budget so what do you need for the next year or for the next five years to accomplish the goals how much money how many people resources in general right so uh, this, of course, can change. Actually, when you create a budget, there is an estimate, a percentage that can vary. It's around 15%. But you need to be very careful. I mean, you cannot move that much from the budget at, unless something extreme happens. So, for example, the pandemic, right? Nobody put in the pandemic in 2019 or 20 uh, a reserve of money just in case a pandemic comes. But that happened so of course that is understandable and, and is going to uh, cause you uh, a, an impact on your budget and the real the real spendings but um, there are things that don't happen that that often right so uh, we need to be very careful on this good uh we're not gonna check that yet so this is going to be for tomorrow actually good good Nice. So, um, in general, my friends, what we're going to do is we're going to start thinking about a business plan. So, you are going to present a business plan, a short one, okay? But it's going to be, I mean, you can download something from the internet. Um, you don't have to create that one. I mean, I know that that is a crazy thing. But present something or speak about something, right? Uh, I mean, four slides might be good with the most basic if it's something that you create if it's something that you download that will be fine if you don't have a presentation that is fine we are not going to do that this friday we're going to do that the other friday that i believe is not going to be the next friday because it's vacation as i understand so it's going to be i mean we will have like three weeks for us to do that one. but i'm telling you since today so you can start thinking if you are going to download something and have something ready and present that one, okay? So the most important part is not that you create a business plan. The most important plan is that you speak and present, that you use the language, that you use the words that are very technical in this. I mean, if you are going to present, for example, uh, financial statements, there are going to be words there. I mean, that you need to understand why are those, right? So it's going to be very short. I mean, I we don't need that many things, a lot of things now. But uh, it's important that you understand certain topics, certain things, certain figures, for example, uh, in case somebody asks, hey, what is that? Or what is this? So that will be it. So start thinking how to download something that is not going to be that large so you can present a business plan in around three weeks. Any questions about this? No, teacher. Okay. 
Yeah, please remember that you don't have to create. If you create it, it has to be something very short, very small, okay? But download something from the internet, it will be very interesting if two or three people present the same thing. I would like to check into that one, but I mean, that depends on you. Okay, so that is going to be for the next next week. Uh, this week for Friday, we're going to do a very interesting activity. Um, it's going to be very easy. We're going to present a piece of news, any piece of news, but we're going to present it as a news presenter. So have you seen the news sometimes? In English, it's like, welcome to this country. We're going to speak about this. World. And that starts with this. something like that. So what I want you to focus on the activity for this Friday is to be fluent. So you can look for any piece of information and a piece of news that is interesting, not that long, but not that short, okay? And uh, rehearse. You can rehearse on your, how you are going to pre present that one. On Thursday, we are going to see a video about how people present those kind of things. You know, it's, it's, uh, you don't have to do it exactly the way they do it, but I want you to try to do it fast, okay? Not, I mean, fast, but you need to be understandable. Everybody has to understand the piece of news that you are going to tell, but it has to be as fast as you can, okay? That will be the exercise for this incoming Friday. Of course, you are going to present two or three words, right? That is for every Friday. And you are going to come with a piece of news and uh, tell the news to the people. Do you have any questions about this? The activity for this, this is for this Friday, okay? No, teacher, no question. No question, teacher. Okay, it's going to be interesting. I want to listen to you. Nice. You know, I know that you are very busy with your jobs. If we had the time, I mean, I could I could get a very, very good price and I know that you will do a very good job. But I understand that you are working and your family and the boyfriend and uh, many other things. So I don't want to get a lot of time for you. But I mean, we almost finished so we can invest a little time uh, in this kind of practices. So let's see how it goes. Okay, okay. So we're going to have free practice today. We're going to continue. Aha. Let's see who wants to be the first one. Anybody? A volunteer that wants to speak a little bit in English with this poor guy here on the other screen. Me, teacher. Good. David, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Very well. Uh, we're going to start with the same question I was asking the other day. So, how do you describe yourself? Who is David Samuel Galdames Montero? <laughs> yeah, it is a, a difficult question because uh, one always himself uh, uh, always describes like uh, something what uh, we do. But uh, in my case, I think. Uh, uh, I like to, to dream, I like to write, and I like to see that uh, I am a person who inspires. I, I, that is why what I want to do, inspire the people, inspire the students, and uh, uh, try to they see they, themselves as a different person, as a person that can do the scene. And uh, that is what I'm looking for, uh, that's one thing I want to be. I want to be uh, a person that can have a, a, a war, can have a, a, a an special look because uh, an special touch that uh, say or, or give the people the inspiration, or give the people the the comfort, give the people the courage. And they need to go ahead because uh, even though the, the many, many information and many situations, uh, there are uh, problems, uh, problems in the, in the people, there are problems. The, the, the students are uh, guys of uh, 14, 15 years are, are stressed. <laughs> I don't understand how people can be stressed at, at 13. Uh, 
at about sixteen eggs, I was uh, running about up the river and, and uh, getting mangoes. <laughs> there is no stress, but uh, this time the, the the guys can can go out. I I speak a lot with my student and and one of the little boys that I did not teach here teach him ask me how how is possible that you have many adventures of your childhood? How is possible? Because they start in, her house, in his house. No can do nothing uh, apart the games and apart the, the sleep. How is possible? They, 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 this little guy didn't understand how, how can I, I have so many stories about my childhood, but I was running by the street, uh, uh, playing football in the, in the street, uh, running in the street, uh, entering in, in whatever a house to to take water uh, uh, no no house the house in the town the little town I was grow out no like the house this the the doors was open whatever house was open you can enter whatever house and uh, give me water please and yeah go ahead from the from the top uh, from the, uh, there are no crystal water there are no uh, Butter water, the red water that they serve it for the public service. And uh, there was an amazing time, it was before the war, the war, we, we don't have war, we don't have a, a, the, our country was a beautiful country, the, the, the smile country was the name from, from, from Salvador. It was a very good time in, in my childhood. And I, 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 uh, Say that the student I, I about I speak them about my childhood, they are surprised because this time is difficult for them. Okay, yeah, you are right. I saw. Well, definitely we live in a different world, so it's not the same world that we had before. Maybe the question I make myself is what is going to happen in five, ten more years, twenty years? I don't know. And, and you are right, guys. Nowadays they are very stressed out. Uh, I mean, yeah, they live in a different path and different way in a different world. Uh, but yeah, inspire people this is a very good thing. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. That depends also on them. Sometimes, I mean, they don't pay attention. But if they pay attention, I'm very sure that they will get something, something very valuable. How do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh... I, I like to write and I, I like to to be a writer. Uh, I am trying to to publish something in, in Amazon, but uh, I have uh, problems with uh, the limitation that Amazon put in the in our country, but I was trying to, to, to get into Amazon or something like like uh, like that, like, that, like the Amazon to, to, to sell uh, books and uh, to, to get all the, the people to, to get information about that. And, and I, I want to be uh, writing, uh, specific, specific writing, maybe teaching, but, uh, but teaching a little and most of the time doing uh, something that can go to a, a wide to to more people, to more people uh, inside and out of our country, and that that is possible now because you publish something in the social media, your network, social network, and and there are some people from I don't know if, <laughs> but from Suriname. Give it like it. I don't know if they understand because I don't know how they speak, but maybe something uh, you can uh, reach people from other countries, from from other uh, continents, and uh, that is important. I I, I like I, I see me myself uh, doing something like that, uh, writing and and uh, maybe giving speech. Uh, uh, even lectures about uh, uh, 
the person on the bellow. Okay, very good, very very nice. Um, yeah, uh, it's a it's a very good plan, the one that you have. So if it's possible, definitely. If you have the book already written, uh, my best advice for you is to do it right away. Sometimes it takes a while for that to to be published. I mean, worldwide things that. But if you start right now, I mean that takes a little while. So probably it's going to take around two years for that to hit the the world, right? So very good, perfect. Um, I was reading the news today. I don't know if you saw that one, but have you seen that there was another shoot in the United States? This time it was a woman and that killed some kids. What do you think about that? Why this is happening? It, it, it's the same situation. Uh, the people are trapped uh, in their toes. Uh, if you can go outside, is you can uh, uh, climb a trip or climb a mountain and and uh, take the time to to run in the in the sea in the in the beach, uh, you get out of your stress. But if you uh, stay looking TV, that are violence, playing games, that are violence, and you can uh, uh, speak with your father because they are busy. You can speak with the teacher because the teacher is busy. You even though I speak with a, a, a guy, the spiritual guy, because they are busy. <laughs> and, and, and nobody listens to you. And you need to do something that the people listen. And uh, if, if you speak with that guys, they are the bad, that they don't see about the they say that they are bad, bad guys. They are trying to do something different, to do something for the people let them alone, or, or the people can note them, can uh, realize that they are there. And uh, we we live in a, a, a stressed society, and uh, we are uh, surrounded by violence. And, in in every place we see, and in, in every moment, uh, explode that, that that situation. And if you have a, a gun, even uh, we don't know each one of us. We don't know how bad can we be if we have the the the, the situation that uh, goes to the. The, the limit of us, our passion of. Uh, Sometimes I was walking in the street in a, a, a truck with uh, guys in the in the back part of the truck. It was uh, uh, eating a mango, and one of them threw the mango, and the mango uh, hit me, my shirt, and, and the, I was so angry. But I have no and I said, if I will have a can, maybe I will fire this guy in that time because I was so angry. We don't know how bad we can be. But if we have the bad motivations and the situation put again in the limit situation, it is difficult for us. Even the uh, People, old, older people, and the teenagers or the or the young adults, uh, maybe can can deal with the stress, and they don't know how to 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 get out of that situation. And I, I see this is this is the result. Okay, yeah, it's kind of strange, you know. It's pretty sad. I was reading that last year. In the United States, there were more than 600 shoots. 600 shoots in just one country. People are crazy, right? I, don't know. I think, teacher, that it's also important to talk about of the mental health. Because I think that that is a, a topic that it has not been seen as something important through the years. 
and what can the society can do for change that and what the government for example can do for change that because yeah the family is the base of the society but nowadays it's very very important to like like david said that the kids needs to to feel like they are important and like they are truly truly um like the, the, the teachers, the parents are very like interesting in really, really interested in them. And not just the kids, it's something that it's very, very weird that sometimes uh, people that maybe suffered in the past and the consequences, maybe uh, you can see the consequence just years later. And I think that the mental health is, is, is something that, that that is a factor in this kind of 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 sad moments in the history yeah definitely you are right so uh yeah i don't know uh, something is missing there i mean and yeah the one that you need to work more is, is their mind right because they come with this kind of thoughts. I cannot imagine. I mean, I was reading that this woman was 28 years old. She was not a teenager anymore. Uh, when you are 28, you know who you are, more or less, and you know what you want to be, right? Uh, I mean, I, I just can't imagine somebody saying at 28, okay, I'm going to buy a gun, and I'm going to clean it, and I'm going to go tomorrow, and I'm going to... I mean, uh, you need to have something in your mind that is not correct, right? Yeah, I just cannot imagine that one. And David, you are right. I mean, violence uh, happens in all the countries. I mean, we see, we see that in the United States uh, there are a lot of shoots. Maybe it's the country that has more shoots. But if you see the news here in El Salvador, in, in Central America, sometimes. I mean, I can see sometimes on the news that people, they get off the car and they hit each other because you pass me through. And I mean, uh, people are crazy. That's something that yes. it doesn't worth a fight just because you want to go be behind me or above me or I don't know, go, go for it. If you want to go, go away. Man. But to fight because of that one and it's because what you say, you're angry, right? You're angry and you go and you fight with the other people. Uh, and if those people they had a gun, maybe they kill each other at that moment that they don't think clearly, right? Uh, yes. But uh, even so, I see that that is happening uh, everywhere in the world. I believe that the United States is the one that happens more. So that is another question I have for everybody here. Why do you believe that happens more in the United States than in any other country around the world? Because they they they, uh, they have many situations. The, the first situation is that they have uh, guns. You can buy a gun, <laughs> and the 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 majority of the houses have have, have a gun. And uh, the other thing is that uh, the people have all of they need. They have the clothes that they want. They have the, the electronic devices like the one. They have the houses that they want. They have the cars that they want. The only thing that they don't have is uh, the protagonist. The to important. <laughs> I want to import them for something. The 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 journalists say that the the guys that are in prison ask for the news about them. A guy is uh, get a, a robbery in a bank, and they ask, uh, "Give me the paper that, that talk about the the, the, the the robbery." And if you have everything, and you are looking for something, and uh, you can go to drugs, you can uh, stream sports, or you you need to do something uh, here in the in the third world countries, uh, if, we, if we go to, to a, a, a restaurant, a, a good restaurant, we feel good. If we can buy a, a, 
a burger, the, the, that burger of uh, three or four, four breads and uh, GVC, I don't know how it has the name, or uh, that burger, uh, you feel good. Or you buy a phone or you buy something, uh, 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 a shirt. But if you have everything, there is there are nothing that gives you the importance that you are looking for. And the, the only thing is that I, they put the they eyes in me because I do I do something that nobody more do. And I, I think that that is the reason because in in, in other in the other countries uh, in the third world countries the people uh, find uh, the, the importance in buying something. But uh, in that case, I think that, that is the only way that they that they found to, to be important doing something terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's very interesting what you say. I mean, I agree. I believe that people are empty sometimes. Uh, yeah, lonely. Uh, you know, I I work a lot with people that come from other countries, not from the United States. And everybody says the same. I mean, they say that at schools, it's exactly the same as in prison. They say that at schools, rich people are together, as in the movies. Uh, black people are together. Mexicans are together. They are separate. They are part of different ethnies. And that happens in prison as well. Uh, they say that, for example, you can be, I, I have a friend that he's from Mexico, but he comes from the United States. He said, you can be Mexican there in the United States and have people, your best friend can be a black person. You are, he's your friend and you're very close, but he offers, for example, something that he's drinking. Nobody takes it. I mean, no, because you are from a different race. In mind that, and that happens every day on the streets, on the schools. I mean, this is something that they grow with. Um, it's kind of interesting how cultures change. Right? I mean, here, it doesn't matter, right? We're the same, uh, whatever. Uh, but there, since there are a lot of people from different races, I mean, that is a very important thing. And even if you are not racist, sometimes you are obliged to do things like that one, right? And besides that one, just as in the movies, there are people that they are not part of any any group. So that also causes an impact. So there are many things that are involved. What do you think about this one? Any other? Uh, opinion, how this, why this is happening? Well, in my case, teacher, I guess that maybe the law is not as strong as it has to be. Uh, maybe uh, the people that is in the power don't think uh, what are the what will be the results to approve those law? Because I guess that maybe uh, to get a gun, you have to have a lot of analysis. So it's not only you go and you are over of 20 years ago, uh, 20 years, and then uh, you can buy it. So I guess that you need to pass some uh, psychological test. In in your ISA, I guess that maybe they go when they have over the twenties or twenty one, and they can buy a, a gun. So it's really fast to 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 get those uh, kind of gun right there. Because I heard some some cases like that that you can go because I have a, a lot of friends. And they say that they only got to the store and then uh, choose the gum and then then buy it. So they don't pass any psychological test. And I guess that maybe that is the, the main reason. Okay. Yeah, you are right. Uh, then the US is very, very easy to, to get a gun, right? You just go to the store, you say, I mean, they require some paper, but it's not a big deal. It's something that anybody can get. Uh, you can buy guns there online. I mean, <laughs> like yeah. or, ordering a burger, right? <laughs> In mind how crazy that one. I I want this gun. Another <laughs> thing that I just don't understand is why they love guns a lot. I mean, my son, for example, he really likes video games and he likes guns a lot. 
then I bought him uh, an air gun, and that's it, right? So if you really like guns, you can get an air gun and shoot to things there, I mean, your house and things, but not a real gun, right? A real gun is something very dangerous. And uh, besides yeah, yeah. that one, there are other other things. For example, two weeks ago, I was reading that a baby one year old, uh, he found a gun there in the house and he killed. Oh, and killed uh, kill another one. Uh, did you see that one? Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the name. So, I mean, guns are there in the house there. I mean, on the on the on the table, right? So it's yeah, because I mean, a, a kid cannot go in and look for something inside of. I mean, you if you have a gun, you need to be responsible and put it in a way that I don't know. And you too, a while ago, I remember I saw something also like that one. Um, it was like a party and somebody was filming and a little girl that was like two years old. Uh, he approached to a man and the man mm -hmm. was carrying a gun here on on the on the belt. And the girl just put the gun and he and she shoot at the man. I mean, the blood was there and in mind the thing. How yeah. how crazy is that thing? But kids are innocent, they don't know, right? But they can find the guns there. I mean, it's like passing by and get something. Like a candy. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I mean, in normal situations, you don't have to do it like that. But if you know that there are kids. That is even worse, right? Uh, you need to be careful. So I don't know. Something's going on there. And more than 600 shoots. I mean, there are only the shoots. In mind the assassinations, the robberies. Mm -hmm. If you add all those things, that country is very violent. And it's not the most violent country. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not on the top, right? So. Crazy. Good. Any other opinion on why this happened? What do you think? What causes a person to say, today I'm going to go and kill some people? My goodness. Maybe teacher is, is part of our basic instinct because uh, in USA, it's easy to get a gun. In this country, it's very hard to get a gun. But uh, you can see children love guns in the video game. So if the children grow out with these loves, and it's easy to get a gun, so they happen to happen. <laughs> they happen that, that things. So maybe it's inside our, our instinct, and we need to... I don't know, psychological tests, like what we're going to say. Because maybe it is, it's uh, something that that made that we, that the human race loves the violence. So, I don't know, I guess. Okay, very good. So, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, uh, I believe the human nature is like that one. So, um, we have like a dark side and we have a light side i mean if you feed one is going to grow and the other is going to decrease right so we need to be very careful anyways in some cases i mean sometimes that happens that there are people that they live within i mean the violence but they are not violent and the opposite there are people that they have loving family i mean people that really care that really are there for you and they become violent, they become that way. So it's it's kind of strange. Um, I really like sometimes to understand human behavior. That's why sometimes I ask you crazy questions. Because I like to to understand a little bit more about these kind of things. Um, but it's, I mean, when you see things like that happens, uh, not only once in a while, I mean, every two, three days, every every week, Something like that is happening. So something is, is wrong, right? Maybe another problem is that nobody does anything. This has happened for a long time, for decades. I mean, they debate. We need to be harder to people buy guns. We need to be more strict. We need to... But they only debate, right? They never do anything about it. Now it's more and more violent. 
the body does anything. So this is the next question. What would you do? Imagine that you are there and you have the power to do something about that one. What do you think would be the, the solution for this step to happen? Okay, this is a very, very big problem. And a, a big problem needs big uh, solutions. Uh, you need to start uh, uh, with the family, the, 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 the main the main institution for every people is is a, a family. Family teach values. Family family teach respect. Family teach uh, identity, self confidence. Uh, uh, that is the things that we can learn in family. But uh, if we have families. Uh, working so hard and we leave the, the, the children with a TV or with a device because we don't want to be disturbed and the, the child is the, the children are getting whatever in the in the in the internet or in the channels of TV and no limit. When I was a kid, uh, the schedule was uh, from six to nine in the morning, from twelve to two in the in the middle in, in, the, in the noon, and from uh, six to nine in the night. That was all. And only half an hour for kids, no more. That there is all of the, and uh, we <laughs> we don't uh, don't want to start at that in front of the TV, uh, looking at other things. And the older people say us go to the street. <laughs> the street what does the, the the play with the, we play, but. Uh, all of the kids was in the street, in the, no problem. It was a, 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 there was security safety, safety in the streets, and there, no problem. And every every older people take care of whatever kid in the in the street, whatever uh, older people take care of whatever kid. If we are hungry, if we are thirsty, if we have we want something, whatever that that will take responsibility. Of. But in this day, uh, as you say, it, uh, nobody matters, nobody cares, because there are problems. If you take care of a, a, a child that are not yours, it will be a problem. <laughs> Maybe not. The, you need to start with the family, and maybe uh, with the religions, give it the, the religious, all the religions, whatever religion, give it the, the implements to teach values, to, to get a, a advice of the people in problems and to, to, to listen. The people need to be listeners. Listen, the students, the the, the 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 teenagers need to be listened, listen to to uh, get out of the things that are in his mind or in his mind or in their mind, and, uh, and we it need to work in the schools, and uh, we need to work in the in the in the jobs uh, to to there are some countries in Europe that give the, the girls a, a year when they have a baby. Not three months, not four months, a year. They, they give the, uh, I, and the, even the father, some, some company give a, a month, a father, a, a free month to, to go home and, and make the things that are necessary because the families are important. And obviously because they have one child, 
not like here, but that we have uh, 1,000 chiles in a day, you know. <laughs> in, in, in the country, they have a child, but it's not in that range. And uh, we need to, to, to even though we need to work in, in, with the institution that have advertising and something like that to, to add values. They, in the past, the, the, the cartoons had values, had values, because uh, uh, you see the, the cartoons, and there was a cartoon, I, I don't remember the name in English, but the, the Super Raton. The Super Raton gave us instruction to, to take your vitamins. And the Bax Bunny gave instruction to you to eat carrots. <laughs> and uh, uh, Popeye, the sailor, give, give you the instructions to, to, to eat spinach. I don't know how to say that, that the mm -hmm. Popeye eat. <laughs> it, it, we need to implement a, a wide solution that it uh, all of the sectors in the, in the country. Okay, very good. So, yeah, it's not that easy. I, I understand that it's not that easy, but I understand also that, I mean, this has happened for 30 years now, so something must be done at this time, right? I mean, people are killing each other. Maybe they don't care. I mean, that I believe that is one of the, part of the problem, right? Politicians, they care about them, right? My, my position and many other things. Uh, even when there are countries where people go to the streets and demand things. This is something that not even the people, they, they do anything about it. So, Any other comments? What would be a solution for this? Maybe another solution could include a psychological assistant in the school, maybe. Because if you uh, check the, the news, uh, the most of the trouble are, are in planning for youngest people. So uh, for me, a big solution could be that because um, you can uh, have some friends but you don't know if they have pressure or different problems. So maybe it's a bit of complex because the uh, United States is a big country, but uh, you can receive um, psychological as assistance in different ways, maybe social media or by calls or at the school or something like that. But um, for me, it could be a solution because uh, you can identify if you need to be more rude with, um, with a, a specific group and focus in a family or whatever, different groups, but you need to be uh, looking for something. But if you don't looking for nothing, you never could be uh, uh, working in a solution. No. Yeah, definitely. So uh, as I understand, actually, there is a psychologist on all, every school in the United States. Uh, I don't know exactly how is the plan. I know that exists. I don't know what they do. Uh, I know that it's difficult because all the teenagers, they have, they are rebellious sometimes. Not everybody, but depending on the street. I mean, uh, it's not the same to be at school in Brooklyn than in Manhattan, right? So it's definitely totally different. Uh, but anyways, there is, uh, there are some parts of the system Maybe the problem is that it doesn't work, right? I mean, if this continues to happen, it's not working what they're doing. And yes, maybe to find a solution is difficult. I mean, because even if they ban the guns, I mean, they can find ways. Now. Probably they are going to go and take a knife and, and, and yeah. do crazy stuff. I don't know. So it's difficult. It's difficult. I just remember a while ago, there is an old, a very old uh, documentary. I don't know if you saw that one that is called uh, Bowling for Columbine. That it was, when this started a long time ago, I mean, it was becoming famous to, to get guns and go to schools and kill other people uh, in Columbine. Uh, that happened in Columbine. And uh, this, the, the person, that, the one that was 
directing or leading the documentary, he was researching, he was asking these questions, right? Why? Why this is happening? And many people say, ah, the video games, the music, uh, um, many other things. And then he went, he went to Canada. And in Canada, in that, in that specific year that he made the documentary, he says that uh, um, there were only two assassinations in Canada. And they were made by Americans. And they listen to the same music. They play the mm -hmm. same video games. But why? I mean, why this is happening? And everybody will say different things. I will ban guns. I will do this. I will do the other thing. Um, the only crazy people that say something different in the whole documentary was Marilyn Manson. He said, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't tell them to do this or this other thing. I will listen to them. They need to be listened. They have something inside and we need to know what is that. So it was a very good documentary. At the end, there was no solution because it's difficult to, to find a solution. But yeah, we also, we need to pay attention here, right? Because I mean, remember that everything that happens in other countries, sometimes it reflects here. So we need to pay attention and be careful on the streets because we never know. My friends, this was the class of tonight. So do you have questions before we finish? No, teacher, no questions. Very good. So let's check the attendance and let's go to bed. So Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Good. For you as the 101 today. Uh, Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Just fine, teacher. Just finished my shift. Oh, my goodness, very late, eh? Mm, well, teacher, but... <laughs> <laughs> are you sweet, teacher? Yes. The, 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 same, the same history. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is, right? We cannot do anything. We need to, to get some right. bread. Okay. Well, I won't take you a lot of time because I know that you have to go home. So um, let me ask you, for first of all, uh, do you believe, do you feel that you are moving on, that you are learning English in the classes? Uh, sorry, teacher, can you uh, repeat me? Yeah, do you feel that you are moving on, that you are learning in the classes? Right, teacher. Uh, I, I think uh, so slowly, but I, I feel I feel good, teacher. Okay. Uh, I, I I feel that, uh, uh, for example, the listening, I, I improve that that area, and I uh, I try to to practice uh, 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 better uh, uh, all all areas. Uh, 
listening, uh, speaking, for example, for listening, I, I try to view uh, videos and the tool, uh, and for example, in my social network, I, I follow uh, some people that uh, they tell uh, their, uh, uh, sorry, they, they teach uh, tips for improve the, the, improve the, the, the language, improve the, the, this the skills issue. And for me, I, I think that I try to, uh, in this moment, uh, uh, I feel that uh, I learn it. I learn it. Very well, that's very good. And uh, do you have any questions about the classes by now? Any topics? And for this moment, no, teacher. For this moment, no. Okay, very well. Remember that if you have questions, you can ask in the class, you can chat in the group, or you can chat with me directly. And if, of course, it will be a pleasure. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good. Is there any other thing that you need for me? And um, for this moment, I think it's, it's so good. Um, but uh, I, uh, for something, uh, you can, uh, I, sorry, I can uh, uh, type a, a text, for example, teacher, right? Definitely. I will be there. Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. It was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye.